Good morning. I am Devasena. In this lecture, we are going to discuss about IP packet delivery in mobile network layer. This topic is present in the subject wireless networks. Let us see the terminology used in mobile network layer. HA represents home agent. FA represents foreign agent. HN represents a home network, FN represents a foreign network, CN represents correspondent node, and COA represents care of address. These are the terms frequently used in this mobile network layer. Mobile node MN. A mobile node is an N system or router that can change its point of attachment to the internet using mobile IP. The MN keeps its address and can continuously communicate with any other system in the internet as long as link layer connectivity is given. Correspondent node CN at least one partner is needed for communications. So the CN represents this partner for the MN, that is the mobile node. The CN can be a fixed or mobile host. Home network, foreign network. The home network is the subnet of the mobile node, that is MN, belongs to with respect to its IP address. No mobile IP is needed within the home network. The foreign network is the current subnet of the MN visits and which is not the home network. Foreign agent FA. The FA can provide several services to the mobile node that is MN during its visit to the foreign network. The FA can have the care of address COA acting as tunnel endpoint and forwarding packets to the MN. It can also provide security services. For mobile IP functioning, FAs are not necessarily needed. Typically, an FA is implemented on a router for the subnet the MN attaches to. Router function in network layer representation is shown here. This is the representation of a network layer. This network layer here, we have two LANs. These LANs are connected to the WAN through the router. This is indicated in this diagram. Best path selection using routing algorithm representation. This is the representation. Here we are having the data. The data is in the form of a packet. It has to be reached to the destination. So with the help of the router, the best path that is the optimized path is being selected. And through this optimized routing algorithm, it reaches the destination. This is indicated in the diagram. Care of address COA. The care of address the COA defines the current location of the mobile node that is MN. All IP packets sent to the MN are delivered to the COA, not directly to the IP address of the MN. Tunnel can be used for packet delivery towards MN. There are two different possibilities for location of COA. They are foreign agent COA and co-located COA. Foreign agent COA, co-located COA. Foreign agent COA. The COA is an IP address of the FA 
and the FE is the tunnel endpoint and forwards packets to the MN. Co-located COE. The COE is co-located if the MN temporarily acquired an additional IP address which access COE. This is correct and the tunnel endpoint is at the MN. Home Agent HA The HA provides several services for the MN and is located in the home network. The tunnel for packets toward the MN starts at the HA. The HA maintains a location register. The alternatives for the implementation of a HA exist. The HA can be implemented on a router that is responsible for the home network. If changing the router software is not possible, the HA could also be implemented on an arbitrary node in the subnet. One disadvantage of this solution is the double crossing of the router by the packet if the MN is in a foreign network. A packet for the MN comes in via the router. The HA sends it through the tunnel which again crosses the router. IP packet delivery representation is shown below. This is the representation of an IP packet delivery. Here we will be having home network, foreign network, mobile node, correspondent node. This home network is connected to the internet through the router. Similarly, the foreign network is connected to the internet through the router. And also the correspondent node is connected to the internet through the router. This is indicated in this diagram. IP packet delivery process representation. Here we have IP packet delivery diagram. In this diagram, we will be having 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let us discuss these now. Step 1. Sender sends to the IP address of the MN. HA intercepts packet. Step 2. HA Tunnels packet to COA by encapsulation. Step 3. FA forwards the packet to the MN. Step 4. Reverse. Sender sends to IP address of the receiver. FA is default router. So these four steps are indicated in this diagram in the form of number 1, 2, 3 and 4. Step 1. Sender sends to the IP address of MN. HA intercepts packet. CN sends an IP packet with MN as a destination address and CN as a source address. The internet not having information in the current location of the MN routes the packet to the router responsible for the home network of the MN. This is done using the standard routing mechanisms of the internet. Step 2. HA tunnels packet to COA by encapsulation. The HA now intercepts the packet knowing that MN is currently not in its home network. The packet is not forwarded to the subnet as usual but encapsulated and tunneled to the COA. A new header is put in front of the old IP header showing the COA as new destination and HA as source of the encapsulated packet. Step 2 process representation in the form of encapsulation representation diagram. Here is a representation of encapsulation process. A header and a tailor is added to the data and the whole is encapsulated as shown here. Step 3. FA forwards the packet to MN. The foreign agent 
now decapsulates the packet that is removes additional header and forwards the original packet with cn as source and mn as destination to the mn again for the mn mobility is not visible it receives the packet with the same sender and receiver address as it would have done in the home network de encapsulation representation A representation of de encapsulation that is the header and the trailer that is attached to the data is removed by the process de encapsulation this is represented in the diagram step 4 reverse sender sends to ip address of the receiver fa is default router sending packets from the mobile node to cn is comparatively simple the mn sends the packet as usual with its own fixed ip address as source and cn's addresses destination step 4 continuity the router with the fa acts as default router and forwards the packet in the same way as it would do for any other node in the foreign network as long as cn is a fixed node the remainder is in the fixed internet as usual if cn were also in a foreign network the same mechanisms as described in steps 1 through step 3 would apply in the other direction working of mobile ip mobile ip has two addresses for a mobile host one home address and one care of address the home address is permanent the care of address changes as the mobile host moves from one network to another to make change of address transparent to the rest of the internet requires a home agent and a foreign agent the specific function of an agent is performed in the application layer when the mobile host and the foreign agent are the same the care of address is called co-located care of address to communicate with the remote host a mobile host goes through three phases they are agent discovery registration and data transfer thank you very much for listening this lecture for further updates kindly subscribe this channel if you like this video means you can share this video to your friends